Hi, I'm Ali and a warm welcome to the Ceramic Repair Studio. So in today's video I'm going to do Kintsugi DIY which is great for beginners and I've got this little sweet Chinese tea bowl here and so we're going to be applying some Kintsugi to this. So before I do though, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like and share. And if you like, really like the video at the end, please press a big thumbs up. It just helps with the algorithm. And let's get going. Right, so here we are with our little tea cup here. Now what you'll need for this is obviously your item and a brush. Now I am using one of my sable brushes because it does have a good point on it and I want to make it, you know, we've got some fine pieces to actually paint on here. So I'm going to use a very small sable brush here and also we're going to need a cup with some water and also I've got some washing up liquid in here as well. And here we have also just a piece of cloth here. Now when it comes to actually King Sugi, the history basically is that in the 15th century there was a Japanese shogun who broke his favourite tea bowl, maybe similar to this, and he sent it for repair. But when it returned it came back with staples and he thought it was ugly and wasn't what he asked for. So he actually asked the Japanese craftsman to develop another type of repair which is more aesthetically pleasing and this resulted in Kintsugi. Now Japanese pottery is also known as golden repair and it's an art form of broken pottery in China by mending the broken um, with, lac with lacquer and with uh, powder pigment of gold, silver or platinum. The actual original technique was used by a special tree sap but which was actually powdered in gold, but we're going to do something a lot more simple. Now there are three methods of Kintsugi. The first method is the crack method, which is the most commonly used and that's what we're going to be doing today. And that is by actually painting on with minimal lacquer, with gold veins on your object. There is a second method which you could use, which I'd recommend more if you're more intermediate and that's the piece method. And that's when you actually have um, coloured epoxy and you actually, for instance, would replace a missing piece such as this. Um, and then the third one is the joint call method, where you would actually take something from another item and actually place it. So you'd actually have a mixture of two materials or even three materials on one item. But what we're doing today, as I say, is the crack method. Very simple. Now you will want a ven well ventilated room on this because we are going to be using the, um, this is leaf gold and it comes in different colours. I'm going to be using gold obviously, but uh, liquid leaf it's called, sorry, but they do it also I think in a bronze and also a silver, depending on what you want. So I'm just going to give it a little shake, always hold the lid because you believe me you don't want it going anywhere, otherwise whatever it touches it will not come out. <laughs> Just give that a small shake and then just open up the lid. Now I have just remembered we will need a bottle top. Um, I always collect bottle tops from milk bottles and various other bottle tops. Really useful for painting and mixing glue in. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of the liquid leaf into our pot here. Now this dries extremely quickly, this is why we want to place the lid on as soon as you can and a little bit goes a long way, it lasts a very long time. Right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to do the small veins first before I tuck all the larger pieces. Now I do like to steady my hand on something rather than doing up, up in the air. You tend to be a bit more jiggy and jaggery um, and not so straight lined if you like. So I do like to place my hand on something. And then I will just we'll start from the outside I think. So let's start from here. So by taking our piece, we don't want too much on, on our brush here. 
just little bits there, dip in, and we'll just start very lightly going over. So you don't want to have too much because you don't want it to puddle and you don't want any you don't want to keep going over either otherwise you because it dries quickly you could end up with lines so you want to just make sure that you're just doing it just going over it once or twice very carefully I know it sounds silly remembering to breathe because when it comes to things like this you almost want to hold your breath again and just very slowly now going through the lines and I'm just painting on now this has been I'm just painting on this part here concentrate Alison so this has actually been um it has it was broken in a couple of parts and I have fixed it and I have actually put milliput on so where the cracks are from the milliput is where I am actually now applying the gold leaf Again, I'm placing my hand on the table and very lightly going through. If you do make a mistake, it doesn't matter, you can quickly wipe off. Um, but as I say, if you can, just try to you know, concentrate because it is very difficult to get off but it has amazing results and it's so simple to do. Now, when it comes to brushes, as I say, I'm using a sable brush. You can get cheaper versions, but you want something with a good point. Otherwise you're going to end up with lots of bits of brush brushes, you know, um, small hairs going on other places where you don't want them to be. Also be mindful where you've already painted so you don't actually touch those. Again, holding down, just placing, and then just gently going through. And then you just want to keep just working your way along. Now this dries, now this dries extremely quickly. So it doesn't take too long. Um, as I say, I reckon in so, literally five, ten minutes, but you do want a well ventilated room and even maybe using a mask as well, because you don't want to breathe any, any of the fumes in. Unfortunately, I don't think this is actually um, water based, so you do need to, as I say, well ventilated room. And then just keep going over. So as you can see, I don't know if you can see from there. Now, then I'm just, I can see on here, just on the rim here, it's slightly faded. So I'm just going to just slightly, this is a very good color actually. It's almost like an old gold, but I'm just gonna slightly just go over the rim so it all blends through and just keep going through. Again, be very careful where you've placed, where you've actually touched. And then we'll just do this part here. Now what I'm going to do is I will probably leave this part actually for about five or ten minutes. Just wait for everything else to dry before I continue with this part. So I'll just blend that through so it all is the same colour. Just very lightly as I say, I just want to blend it so can't see any different variations of colour. So it dries extremely quickly. And just paint little bits, don't need to be too heavy handed. And then just keep looking. Now I can see we've got a crack here as well so if I can just hold on to there and we're just do this crack here as well again just hold just taking a tiny tiny part bit holding and supporting our hand and just gently just go across which 
I might even hold it onto, that's it, hold on, place it onto there. And then just quickly, so it's starting to dry already in our little lid here, but that's fine. There we go. If you can see there. And then we'll just keep looking. It's drying nicely. This is still quite wet. So I'm going to start just doing the inside part of this here now. So I'm just going to hold on to, I want to make sure we're not touching the same part. Obviously, if it's a plate, it's so much easier because, you know, you haven't got different angles. Right. You see here, it needs a bit more work. Keep dipping in. Right, we're just going to do this large piece here and I'm going to use a larger brush, obviously because it, you, otherwise we're going to end up with lots of brush marks. So again, just going to take our brush here and we're just going to go through you may take two or, two or three times with this and we'll just start it's quite a large piece and again just keep going I might just let that dry before I actually do another stage and just I'll probably go over that again. Meanwhile, I'm just going to continue with the inside veins. Again, holding down, just trying to find angles which are comfortable for you. Obviously, you want good light as well. We'll just go in there. And just keep going, going around. So you're holding down with the hand trying to find angles to the best angle to actually do it so you may want to let things dry for a minute before you continue you see we're just sort of starting to Take shape now. Into there. So it's starting to dry slightly here, but it's fine. Got a bit more time. Again, hold down. And then we've just got our last piece. As you can see just here, there's a very fine line crack. So again, we just hold on. And then try to get the light. And just, as I say, use your hand to actually support.
obviously the the um, better tip you have on your brush the yeah actually you will end up with a finer line but it also depends on you know how thick you want your your gold to be and I think we can just finish off just here there's one or two bits which could do it's going over so there we are Kintsugi DIY how to do it yourself simple and easy as I say not using too much and just a bit of patience and you can get great results so I hope you enjoyed this video today again please subscribe share and a thumbs up to help with the algorithm and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one okay bye